second tip is how to manage video storage on the iPad. That is how to keep it from overfilling with your files. As you start to use your iPad more and get kind of relaxed and just start doing things for fun and not because you're figuring out how to use a new device, uh, you'll may find yourself putting a lot of movies and uh, TV shows, recorded TV shows, on the iPad. It's so convenient, and actually, you know, if you don't mind sitting real close to somebody, you can share a show with them and uh, watch it together, or just watch it yourself. So it, it's really fun. But those files fill up the iPad really fast. The original set of iPads are 16, 32, and 64 gigabytes. And the 16 gigabyte model, which a fair number of people have gotten, only holds about one movie and two TV shows, or uh, about half a dozen TV shows maybe, depending on the show and if it's an hour or a half hour. So it quickly fills up. What you do is you use iTunes to download the shows onto your computer first, and then you selectively choose which TV shows and which movies to put on the iPad just by clicking little check boxes next to each one. So as long as you set that up before you sync your iPad, iTunes will manage deleting files from your iPad and putting new ones on while the complete set of files remains on your computer. And that gives you the choice of keeping a pretty big set of stuff on your computer and then just having on your iPad what you need and still having some storage room on your iPad for apps and for things that you enter and for photos that you download to it and so on. So that's how to uh, use iTunes to keep a lot of stuff on your computer and a selected small amount of stuff on your iPad.